Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's Daily Tarot Love Read. My name's Morty. Very excited to have you guys here. Today is Thursday, April 4th. The time is 1219 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Beautiful day today. So I'm going to ramble for a minute here. Um... So if you're not into my rambling, I understand, right? If you're into just the read, you could just fast forward. This is all about choice, right? But if you choose to stick around, then you stick around, you can hear me ramble. But I've had a lot of thoughts, right? Passing and running through me this morning. Kind of been on this little bit of a journey. It's been a great day. Um... I went down to the gym, I got on the treadmill, I took a walk through the Shasta Mountains, it was beautiful. I even went in and I lifted weights for a little bit, which felt great to kind of stretch out. I used to lift weights all the time. So it felt good to re-engage in something that I used to do in the past. It felt really good actually. In fact, maybe I, I, I may be just be uh, working my way towards making another habit of it. Um, but yeah, so one of the thoughts and the feelings that I was, that I was connecting with when I was exercising and working out is that sometimes it's just important to just, just be still, <laughs> you know, um, I'm no exception to anything, right? I, there are things in life that I desire, absolutely. Um, but sometimes I think it's just important to step back and be still. Be still and allow yourself the opportunity to be present. And by being present, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, to me, with presence, I'm meaning to be able to fully appreciate everything that you have in life. All of your blessings, whether it's family, friends, job, career, success, finances, love, relationships, connections, talent, skills, ability, I mean <clears throat> joy and bliss. To take the time to just be present and recognize all of these beautiful things that you have in your life, right? And we all have them. I mean, you can get down to the basic things, right? Our good health, the air in our lungs. Gratitude for this, this beautiful life experience that each of us get to participate in. And I know that there's highs and lows. I get that. I'm not trying to be like an unrealistic eternal optimist. I'm not. I get it. But it's really important, I think, sometimes to just step back and allow yourself to, to be present. <clears throat> I mean, one of the songs that I was listening to this morning by Lana Del Rey is uh, uh, Art Deco. You know, she says over and over in the chorus of the song, because you want more. Why? You want more, right? We all want more. And I think sometimes, I'm gonna speak for myself. So I'm just gonna share, and if you identify with it, you relate, you do. If you don't, I get it. But sometimes, with me, if I'm so focused on all these other things that I want more of in life, I lose connection with my experience, right? I've kind of disconnected myself from the journey. And it's all about the journey, more so than the destination. I mean, destinations, don't get me wrong, they're beautiful. But I think most of us, when we look back on, on, on experiences in life, right, the richness and the growth is in the journey. So, that's one of my messages today is to I mean, for each of us to take the time to just be present, be in the moment, and to, to fully appreciate everything that we have right now. And I know it's not everything that we all desire. I 
किया था But it gives you the opportunity to live life with gratitude. And living life with gratitude is a beautiful thing. I mean, if you truly, if you're living a life of gratitude, you just don't have bad days. <laughs> you really don't. Um, you know, and the other thing that I want to point out to all of you is you are all so mighty. And I mean that word. There's not a better word for me to use. You are mighty. And by mighty, I mean, you want to put it to the test? <laughs> All right, I'll throw the challenge out there to you. Just so you can recognize how mighty of an individual you are, how mighty you are with your energy. When you're out and about today, make it a point to smile. Smile big. Say hi to people that you normally wouldn't say hi to. Ask them how they're doing. Engage yourself into their life and watch what happens. Watch what happens with them when they sense your energy and your openness to receiving them for who they are. I mean, at the end of the day, we all desire to be loved appreciated, accepted, validated, recognized, all of us. And in some small way, you're, you're providing that to others when you, when you do that. And it gives you the opportunity to let your light so shine. Yeah, so let your light so shine. I mean, put me to the test on that. And you're going to recognize and you're going to learn right away how mighty of an individual you really are. And mighty is big. Mighty branches out because you never know. You never know the effect that you're going to cause another individual because of your generosity or your unconditional love or your kindness, your willingness to let your light so shine and to put yourself out there and boost them, raise their vibration. Allow them to feel and experience some of the joy in life. It's just being passed on, right? You're just passing it out. You're paying it forward. And who knows what kind of effect that's going to have. I mean, that person, you don't know who they know and, and who they're going to be in touch with in life, right? And because you've affected them and helped raise their vibration and cause them to believe in themselves and be happy where they were sad before or depressed, right? Now they're passing on and they're carrying forth with that same energy, right? And, and, and they're passing it on to others, whether they meant to or not. It's just, that's the way energy works. And where did it all come from? It all started with you. And by the end of the day, it might make its way through thousands and thousands of individuals, all because of you, because you're mighty. So never forget that you're mighty. All right. So yeah, today's been a great day. Um, I've already went down. I went to the store yesterday and I bought some fruit. Right, so I went down and, I, and uh, I had my banana and my apple. I sat in the sunshine. A little bit of an overcast today, but the sun came through. And boy, when it came through, I mean, it was kind of blinding. But I could feel it on my skin, and I really enjoyed that. Um, my son, Max, I call him Maximus. He came by this morning, too. Always great to see him. He's a Scorpio. He has such a light within him, right, that just shines. Um... Anyways, it was great to sit down and to, and to chat with him and to catch up and kind of, I mean, he's working and going to school. He's kind of, you know, he's in his early 20s, so he's trying to get it all figured out. And it's fun to be his dad and to sit back and to listen to him, right, and listen to him navigate through his obstacles, right, and see how his mind works. I love it. Truly, it gives me gratitude. Um... Yeah, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I have three beautiful children. Yeah. Gets me kind of sad. Not sad. Grateful.
Yeah. Sorry, I need just a second here. So we need to change the subject a little bit, right? Um, I can't talk too much about my kids. So anyways, with Max, uh, when he was here, he, he showed me um, this link on YouTube, uh, Ed Bassmaster. I, I mean, this guy is so funny. He does these little pranks, right, on his YouTube channel. Uh, and he really has great personality to go along with it. He has some real talent. Um, I can identify with some of what he's doing because I kind of have the same thing in me. My son has seen that, right? I, I, I do these, sometimes I do these little funny skits, right, with these Billy Bob teeth. And I can really go into the mode and pull off some funny stuff. So that's why he was showing me that. He knew it would resonate with me, and it did. I mean, it was hilarious. Last week, I was watching another one that uh, a good friend recommended, uh, Pittsburgh Dad. Very funny. Uh, anyways, good comedies like that. They're, they're fantastic. It's great energy. I love to laugh. Laughing is such a good healing thing. See, I just changed the subject and start talking about laughter and... Not a rambling this morning. But I, I'm going to say this. I think that many of you know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to your children. That closeness. That connection. So here's another challenge for all of us. Take a moment or a few moments today and reach out to your kids. Connect with them. Even if it's just briefly, just to let them know that you love them. I think that's a great thing to do. I'm going to do the same thing myself. So when I put out the challenge, I put it out to me as well. Yeah. I feel really good about that. So, the gauntlet has been thrown. The challenge has been issued. Okay, affirmation taking us into today's Tara Love Read. <clears throat> Confidence. The number 32, which reduces to a 5. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. By earth and air, fire and water, let my confidence take light, burn higher. By earth and air, water and fire, let my confidence take light, burn higher. Beautiful affirmation. <clears throat> So this is the affirmation taking us into today's Tara Love Read. Interesting. Confidence. It's a good affirmation. Oh, I just want to tell you guys thank you. Um, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for, for giving me the opportunity to, to share. And I mean, you allow me to be authentic. Uh, yeah, I'm just not one to hit stop on the record button. I just figure, you know, whatever I, whatever I'm talking about at the time, whatever connections, whatever energies I feel, it's just what I feel, right? And sometimes, sometimes it's just this overwhelming sense of gratitude. 
an unconditional love right for everything that I that I have in life to be grateful for my kids at the top of that list okay energy taking us into today's tarot love read is the seven of cups seven of cups represents choices having a lot of choices So somebody out there is maybe feeling like they have a lot of choices. Stepping into a time in your life where opportunities are popping up, becoming present. The figure in the card, she's on her dragon and she's flying through the air. I don't know. I'm feeling like she's really enjoying the ride, to be honest with you, and I've never felt that before never thought that and felt that when I'm holding this card but yeah it's like she's enjoying the ride kind of caught up in flights of fancy right she's enjoying the rush she's enjoying the wind blowing through her hair I don't think it's so much about having all these choices that gets her excited I think it's just a sense of freedom that she feels when she's on her dragon. But the cup that I think she wants is down here on the ground. So at some point, right, when she's done with her ride, she should probably go back down to the ground and try to obtain that cup that she wants. Um, it has a rainbow coming out of it. When do rainbows show up? Rainbows come in after a storm. I don't know. So maybe, you know, maybe there, whatever this cup represents to you out there, right? Maybe, maybe it's been a little bit of a rocky road, right? With ups and downs. So assuming this cup, let's say it represents another person. I think you've been through some rough weather, right? Some stormy, some storms. Because now the rainbow is showing up. Anyways, so at some point she needs to, be, she should probably get grounded, especially if she's feeling like her energies are scattered, right? All these choices are popping up and she just feels a little bit scattered. She should go on a walk barefooted, maybe on the beach. You gotta love the beach. I know a lot of you live on the beach or close to the beach. I'm happy for you. I'm a little bit envious. I mean, I have the Rocky Mountains, so I'm lucky. But yeah, go for a walk barefooted. Maybe go to a park. Maybe go hug a tree. All right, tell us more. Okay, we now have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords would be an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Doesn't have to be, but like all night energies, it's an energy that shows up. What does he bring? He brings truth, right? So this is truth and understanding coming into somebody. Might be a very enlightening kind of truth that you're receiving, right? Because for whatever reason, these little... Oh, it's like they're fireflies. I've never noticed those in these card, this card before. Maybe they're pieces of truth. I don't know. But it represents truth, right? Truth coming into somebody. Cups represents the energy of walking away. Walking away possibly from a person, place, or thing. She's 
walking out of the water. Water represents a lot of feelings and emotions. So whatever this represents to you that you're walking away from may be kind of difficult. Might be a little bit emotional, hard to do. I mean, she reaches up for the tree, right, to kind of stabilize herself as she's coming out of the water. What's she walking towards? She's walking towards the full moon. She's walking towards these colors in the sky. Those colors to me represent adventure, excitement, and passion. So she's walking, walking towards more happiness, for sure. Okay, we now have the unknown card. Uh, this is the only tarot set that I know of that has a card in it called the unknown card. Anywhere this card falls into the tarot spread, whatever question it's connected to or other cards, it means that the answer is not meant to be known right now. Too soon. Perhaps because choices haven't been made perhaps because there's other universal work taking place that needs to be completed first. Hmm. Never said that before. Good card, three of pentacles. So the energy in this card, this represents the energy of two people working together. They're working together to create, to manifest. I notice that he is looking at her, but she has her back to him. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. There's also a bird between the two of them. It has a seed in its beak. It's getting ready to release that seed and to drop it to the earth where it'll hit the ground and it'll manifest. It represents the universe working with these two, helping them out. But why is her back turned to him? Hmm. It's really jumping out and popping out to me today. So that may have some meaning to some of you out there. Okay, well we just talked about the universe having a vested interest in these two people. Now we have uh, another confirmation of that. We have the card of temperance, which is the card of Sagittarius. So many of you may be in a relationship with the Sagittarius, or you may be a Sagittarius, or desiring a Sagittarius. The energy in this card, this represents divine timing. It means that this will sound a little bit magical, but I believe in magic. Right? It means that the universe has a vested interest in what is taking place with these two people that are manifesting. The universe may be moving parts and pieces around in a way to help bring these two together. <clears throat> She's a balanced energy with one foot in the water and one foot on dry land. She wears wings, right? So she has it's heaven sent. Butterflies represent rebirth. It's a pretty magical card. She pours a chalice of water into a chalice of fire. It should just psst, put it out. But it doesn't. It creates this beautiful rainbow instead. Now we're back to more rainbows. Hmm. I don't know. Rainbows, rainbows, rainbows. I think whatever, you know, whatever this journey represents for these two people, I definitely feel like um, it's been a, a journey of growth, right? And growth for both of you. And many times growth 
comes into our life when there's pain, right? When there's discomfort, when we are pulled out of our comfort zone. Storms happen, and then what happens after storms? Many times rainbows show up, right? So I'm seeing a lot of rainbows. Okay, coming in under the Knight of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is a good energy. This represents the energy of becoming the best at what it is you do. In many cases, this is talking about work, your career, the way you go about earning money, focusing, right? Like she is at the spin well. She's practicing and she's perfecting her skills to become the best at this spin well. So it's encouraging you to maybe focus on your work, your art, right? Hmm, your art, that's interesting. Allowing your creative energy to flow. Hmm. So the spin wheel, for whatever reason, it, it's making me, it looks like a cartwheel to me right now and I've never had that happen. Interesting. It's also making me think of it, not just cardinal, but the flower of life. It's not the flower of life, but right, it's what I'm seeing and feeling when I'm looking at it. Okay, coming in under the Eight of Cups, we have the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. King of Pentacles didn't become the King of Pentacles overnight. This is an, this is an experienced energy. Right? It represents stability and security. It represents the energy of feeling comfortable in your skin, feeling confident, right? being realistic with life. Right? You're not a dreamer. You're pretty grounded. You know what to expect, what to anticipate. Just like the King of Pentacles, he's been there and done that. He survived and he's overcome all kinds of different energies, so he knows what to expect in life. It's very solid, very secure and stable. And it's kind of interesting. Some of you may be walking away from his King of Pentacles. We now have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is coming in under the Unknown card. Interesting. Aces represent new beginnings. So this is a beginning for somebody that you really love. For some of you, it's a romantic relationship. For others, it's a friendship, new job, new home maybe, new location. It's a new beginning that you're excited about, that you love and that you're passionate about. Kind of interesting that it's coming in under the unknown card. Okay, coming in under the three of pentacles, we have the star card, which is the card of Aquarius. So some of you could be in a relationship with an Aquarius or desiring an Aquarius. The energy in this card, what it represents, it's a pretty magical and powerful card represents the energy of manifesting all of your hopes and dreams. The figure in the card, she's pretty serious about what she's doing too. She's balanced with one foot in the water, one foot on dry land. Water represents feelings, emotion, her feminine self. The dry land represents her presence here on earth, her masculine self. She's balanced in both. She pours one cup onto dry land and one cup in the water, so the way she's going about manifesting, she's continuing her balance. It's like she means business. She stands underneath eight stars. That's no coincidence. She made that happen. Eight represents good luck, fortune, strength, power, infinity, forever. So some of you, right, 
is coming in under the three of pentacles the the man and the woman working together to manifest where he's looking at her but she's not looking at him yeah some of you i mean for some of you this other person may be an aquarius or you may be an aquarius but together you're manifesting all your hopes and dreams Coming in under temperance, we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is a good energy. It represents the energy of looking back on memories of the past. And she's looking back. I say she because there's, most of these cards are females. Um, so when I say she or he, just it's one or the other, or both. The memories that she's looking back on, they're good memories. These are all full cups in the water. They represent secure times stable times joyful happy times makes her feel good like part of her wants to stay even the little girl wants her to stay kind of beckoning her to stay don't leave me but she knows that she needs to move on but these energies serve her very well they give her strength they give her motivation and inspiration right looking back on past successes and good energies and happiness good times in your life. They serve you very well. Okay. Energy is taking us out of today's tarot love read. We have the chariot, which is the card of cancer. So some of you could be in a relationship with a cancer, or seeking a relationship with a cancer, or you may be a cancer. The energy in this card, what it represents is change. Change that's coming. Yeah. So what I'm feeling is kind of what I talked about earlier at the beginning of the read, right? The be still, right? Be present. I'm feeling that here, right? She's being pulled by a white horse and a black horse, representing duality. The yin, the yang, the masculine, the feminine. Two opposing dichotomies that want to run opposite directions sometimes, but right here, it seems like they're running together. She seems pretty confident that at the helm of this chariot because she's holding on to it with one arm. She's trusting her intuition because she's being guided by eagles, showing her the path, the direction that she's on. Yeah, so what I'm feeling right here is just stay the course. Stay the course. Change is coming. Be still. Be present. Change is coming. Seven of Pentacles, the other energy taking us out of today's Tara Love Read. It's a good energy. I just looked at the clock and it was 33.33. Hmm. I haven't been staring at the clock the whole time. I love synchronicities. So Seven of Pentacles, she, the figure in the card, she's been working hard in the field to earn these Seven Pentacles. And now that she's earned them, she's taken time to lean up against the tree and to sit back and reflect and to look at what she's manifested. I know she may be making some choices on, hey, do I want to continue manifesting more of these Pentacles or do I want to change things up? Maybe try to manifest something different for myself in life, right? Taking the time to really think about that. It's good energy. It serves you well. Okay. So guys, I'm done with this tarot read. I need to take a few moments. I need to look at it. I need to see where the cards are placed in relationship with each other. And, and, and I am going to take just a minute to do this, right? Because... Um, I really want to be able to trust and, and connect with feeling here. Um, so I'm trying to be more patient in my reading so that I give myself the opportunity to do that. Because uh, a lot of times I just feel like I need to be saying something the whole time, right? So it can get me a little bit off course. So I'm just trying to learn to allow and to trust. So I'm asking you guys to do the same thing with me. Just kind of allow and trust. This is a great time to just 
take in these soothing sounds and background um, if necessary. Fast forward, I get it. I do it sometimes too. Hang on just a few moments. Okay, so I, th yeah, I think I'm getting it. I think I have it here. So opening affirmation, taking us into today's Tarot Love Read is confidence, right? So somebody out there, right? Connecting with your confidence. Uh, recognizing your value, recognizing your worth. Allowing you to feel that confident feeling within you. It's a, it's a good energy, fantastic energy. Stepping into a time in your life, right, for many of you where you feel like, well, in many ways, the world is your oyster. Choices. Choices everywhere, right? And you're, you're, in many ways, you're probably enjoying the ride. But at some point, just like at the amusement park, right, the ride ends, and we have to go, it stops, we get off. At some point, she needs to get off this this dragon and probably ground herself. Hug a tree, go for a walk barefooted outside. Let yourself connect to Mother Earth, allowing your scattered energies to not feel so scattered, right? Allowing clarity with your thinking and your feelings. So I think for somebody out there, I think you've spoken your truth. I do. Uh, and I, and you know, I hope it, it allowed you to feel great, right? To be authentic and to, to speak your truth. Hey, win, lose, or draw. Doesn't matter because you opened up your heart and you spoke your honesty. And now, you're focused on your work, right? You're focused on perfecting what it is you do. You've turned this over. You've surrendered completely. What becomes of that will become of that, right? But you're gonna, for your own health and benefit, you're gonna disconnect yourself from that. Disconnect yourself from some absolute outcome, right? I want more, more, why? Why, why do we want more? I don't know, I think this is just appreciating everything that you do have in your life. Feeling great that you were honest and you spoke your truth. Getting focused on your work, right? And now allow the universe to reward you for your honesty. So for some of you out there, you may be walking away in some sense from this King of Pentacles, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or you could be walking away from energies that you have in your life that cause you to feel insecurity and instability. 
some of you are going to be walking away from something else in your life and walking towards this King of Pentacles. We're energies, right? So it can go either way. You see the energy that fits best for you, your circumstances. So at the, at the center of this read are these two cards, right? This new beginning, this Ace of Cups. For many of you, it's a romantic relationship. For others, it's friendship, new job, something that you love, that you're passionate about. It's new and it's exciting for you. This beginning is a little bit unknown right now for whatever reason, and it's okay. It's okay that it's unknown, right? This is kind of connecting to what, what I was talking about at the beginning of the reading, which is all of us desiring more in our lives, right? We want to have. I'm no different. I want, I want more too. But sometimes it's just important. It's, it's important to just sit back and be still, right? To be present, allow yourself to recognize and feel everything that you have already in your life that you have to be grateful for. It's interesting that, uh, that those two cards are the center of this read. I trust energy and I trust spirit. So in many ways, I trust my rambling too. I know I call it rambling, but it's not just rambling. Two people working together to manifest. He's looking at her, her back is to him. That may have significant meaning for some of you out there. It can go either way. It could re you could reverse it just as easy. They're energies. The point is one person is looking at the other and the other person has their back to the other person. But they're still working together, right? Maybe disconnected to some degree. Still working together to create and manifest all their hopes and dreams, right? And with the help of the universe. I mean, her manifestation, she meant it. It's being reflected right here by the universe stepping in, right? With this bird to drop the seed. Keep in mind the universe is invested in you. It's invested in your happiness, in your well-being. Be patient. <laughs> I mean, that may be the lesson that's here, right? Is patience, learning patience. If necessary, look back on memories of the past, right? To sustain yourself. Sometimes it helps in our to be present when we can look back on the past and realize that everything works out. Right, so it allows us to disconnect from these uh, these things that we feel we need to have. Looking back on stable, secure, happy times, good memories. So, change is coming. What I'm feeling today is just kind of do what she's doing right here. She's not working anymore. She's just being still. She is being present. Being present. She's appreciating these seven pentacles that she's worked hard to enjoy. I mean, she's enjoying her journey. Enjoying your journey. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think I'm done with today's Tarot Love read. It's a, it's a great read. It, it pulled me right in. This is a longer read. I'm not going to apologize because we have fast forward buttons, right? And you can even stop it if you don't like it, if my rambling gets old. But uh, I hope this resonated with you guys. I, I hope that you were able to hear the messages that were in this read, the ones that were meant for you be able to connect with that and that these messages help you to raise your vibration right to give you the kind of guidance that you need as you make your way through your path and your journey your spiritual journey in life thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share this with you 
This is a general read for the collective. Thank you for all the love and support that so many of you provide me here at uh, Love and Abundance Tarot. Yeah, I really do appreciate everything so much. So I say it every day, but I mean it every day. Thanks, guys. Have a fantastic day.